wife refuses to quit her job where she works with AP. D-Day was three days ago, I found texts between my wife and AP. When I confronted her she gave me a timeline that lines up with my suspicions and the texts that I saw. I was still in shock when I woke up the next morning so I ended up just going to work, because I didn't know how to cope with my feelings. At work I came back to a little bit and realized that she had gone to work that morning to be at the same job he was at, I spent the day in a daze of panic, anxiety, anger, and grief. We met with my pastor that evening and I agreed to try reconciliation, but she would have to quit her job, and I would need time to get over some of it before anything happened. We went back home that night, and I said some hurtful things, I was hurt so I just opened my mouth and unloaded all of my hurt onto her. She got angry and began to question if I really wanted to work it out, I couldn't just keep throwing it in her face for the rest of her life, mind you at this point we were less than 24 hours past D-Day and it was our first real conversation about it. Yesterday she was supposed to quit her job and tell her boss about the affair, she didn't want to leave them suddenly without explanation and he's a manager at her job, he's not a direct manager to her, but he's in management. Instead she called my pastor to ask for more time to think on it, she wanted to wait the weekend and decide, she called me and told me she was going to make a decision on Monday. I told her that if was going to resent me for quitting her job, then we probably couldn't make it work in that situation. I told her that quitting had to be her decision alone, but if she stayed then I couldn't guarantee my actions, I told her that she had to want to quit or we wouldn't work out anyway. She still hasn't decided what she wants to do, she keeps asking how likely I think it is that we'll work out, and I feel like she's delaying her decision because I'm hurt still. The fact that it was a question of whether or not she should at all tells me a lot about her feelings, she wants me to give her some sort of guarantee that it'll work before she quits, but even if I could she still isn't going to want to quit. I don't believe she wants to stay because of him, but she has a lot of potential in her line of work. She's good at what she does and likes her job. Her managers, not AP, he manages elsewhere, have recently given her a raise and started lining out a path for her growth. The way I feel right now is that she loves that work more than me and values her career more than my marriage. I'm going to stay at my mom's house, I've opened a new bank account in my name and I'm setting up direct deposit Monday. I need space to heal without her tearing at the wounds by trying to speed the process up. My identity has been so tangled with hers that I need to figure our myself before I can try to figure out us together. I don't need advice, I just needed to write that down. Comment. Tell her she free to do what she wants even continue at her job just not as your wife. This isn't a time to play. Lay out exactly what you expect for reconciliation with consequences of her choices. You want no gray areas or confusion. She is hoping to rug sweep and that's normal behavior this new. She needs a reality check and you need to give it to her. Ultimatums may wake her up out of the affair fog she is in. She hopes it will just go away, it won't unless you let it. You can't force her or make her to choose you. She already chose what she wanted, first she chose her lover, AP, over you. And again she chose herself and her needs, work, over your marriage. It would be better for you if you choose yourself, your dignity, self-worth, respect and morals over empty false fake relationship. First get STD test and if you have children DNA test them. Later inform at her workplace about her affair to hire authorities and contact attorney for legal advice. You shouldn't have to give her any ultimatums. She is a grown woman that has made decisions that only benefit her and her cheating is definitely one of them. She's made her decision. And dude, it's not you. Stop being gentle with her. This only fuels her fetish for continually disrespecting you. She's monkey branching knowing she holds power over you and until you take action, you will always come second place. I know you're afraid, and are lost, but you need to start going into survival mode. Because whether you believe it or not, she's already planning ahead against you and will strike at your lowest. Gather evidence. Gather support from friends and family. 
separate finances. And armor up. She won't change. Good luck dude. Why can't you find a proper therapist who is trained in these matter, then going to some pastor who I doubt can give you any advice other than to work on the broken marriage that you didn't break. Next story too. We have both cheated on each other, and we don't know if it's worth giving another chance. Hello, as per the title, my boyfriend and I are considering couples therapy, but we're not too entirely sure if it's worth it to begin with. We have been together for three years, and we have basically been each other's first everything. He is not exactly my type, but has never showed it affecting him until recently which I completely understand. However, I caught him cheating on me at the very very beginning of our relationship, and the most recent incident three years later while I was on holiday overseas. That was six months ago and we broke up for this reason, but somehow we continued to talk to each other until now. During this, we have continuously snooped on each other's phones and found multiple points of betrayal of trust from each other. While it first started with me catching him cheating, he has caught me texting other dudes while we were on break. While it might not seem as bad, there were multiple men and they were the complete opposite of what he looks like, so it kinda rubbed in his face that he isn't my usual type. And yesterday he also found messages between me and my friends basically saying I was ashamed of him because of what he did, and I'll break up with him eventually. Obviously that hurts. We keep going back and forth arguing trying to prove to each other that we do love each other, but it's hard to believe each other's words because we have both hurt each other. I am sincere with my words and I begged for another chance for a reason, and I can tell that he is sincere with his words because of the recent effort he's put in to prove it to me that his cheating was a mistake. We have been considering couples counseling as a result, because we obviously cannot let go of each other but it hurts to say. But I just don't know if it's worth it. He cheated, from the very start of our relationship. I feel that there is little respect for me because of this. We are so young. I'm turning 19, and he just turned 20. We are still quite young and I'm not sure if it is worth spending our money when we are young and broke with little time to spare because of school and work. We are both at fault in the relationship, and while he needs to redeem himself I do too. Lots of effort is needed. So, is it worth it? I'm hoping I can get more experienced mature people to stick their heads in and answer honestly. I know I should have left from the very start. But I promise I believe him when he puts in the extra effort in to prove to me that he is willing to wait it out so we can trust each other again. Comment. It's not worth it. You're both young and shitty people. You will learn and grow with experience. But right you're both shitty and selfish, not good for committed relationships. Good luck. Next story 3. My husband has cheated on me for two years. I have forgiven him and empathized as much as one can, as usually those who cheat are just grown with a very traumatized and disturbed inner child. Such is the case. Though, I don't know that I want this for my life anymore. The fear of losing this man, who I love and share children with, is agonizing. It is so confusing, he is so gentle and sweet, loving and calm with me never mean to me. Yet leads a double life from time to time between being caught. This most recent time is hurting more than I can say. Maybe because I truly believed he was changing and I felt safe to be vulnerable again. I am broken and defeated. I long to be loved the way I deserve, as all I do is dote on his every need, trying to prove my worth in any way I can. I too have a broken inner child, who has severe abandonment issues, longing to be enough, to be chosen and saved. But where does empathy stop and I instead find empathy for me? Will I wait my whole life for him to change and risk my health? Or will I leave and attempt to start anew, a life with no paranoia or worry about what I don't know and when I can or should be happy? I'm sad. I'm 25. Why me? I'm scared he'll regret leaving him. That he'll miss him that he'll be in great pain feeling his absence. Why is this so hard? Isn't it obvious I'd be better off moving on? Why can't I just jump and do it? 
Comment. I'm in the same boat. The only advice I can give is you have to be the one to save yourself. No one is coming to save you. Especially a man. You be the person that little girl needed when you were little. The moment you decide that then things in your life will change. You'll start attracting people who truly love and adore you. Who wouldn't put themselves in positions to hurt you. Best of luck. Of course you'll miss him you've had a life and children together but you won't miss the doubt and the feelings of betrayal or not feeling good enough you won't miss that horrible sick feeling when you realize he's cheated again and no matter what you do he won't change being your children up to know women are worth more. I want you to know up, you are enough. All of what you said at the end is true. You will regret it and miss him and likely be better off. You have abandonment issues and he repeatedly abandons you. That's horrible. Please reach out to resources IRL. And keep us updated. It may help to journal out your thoughts and feelings about the relationship, that way you can tangibly see the situation you're facing and the decisions you need to make. Focus of you and your kids, put y'all first since he isn't. You put him first and was betrayed, you forgave him and he broke that trust again. Trust his actions, which is, he will continue to abuse your trust. Put you and your kids first. Love him by love yourself more, it will hurt but aren't you hurting just as bad if not worse by staying?